All right. Flowery Banch, Georgia is where we're headed, and we've got Steve Smith Sr. sitting down with Kirko, Kirk Cousins. What's going on, Kirk? How you doing? I'm doing well. It's good to see you. We got a lot to catch up on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's jump right into it. Yeah. How's the Achilles? Yeah. It's coming along. You know, this is my first surgery in my life. Your first, first ever? Yeah. First thing I've ever really ruptured. So, wow. Um, just learning a lot about what it means to truly rehab, to come out of surgery, to, to rest, to push. Like, hmm. you know, and you went through it with the Achilles. And yes, I think what I've learned is like, guys like yourself and others they come back and they make this like it was no big deal and going through it i'm kind of scratching my head because i'm feeling like i can play quarterback and i'll be fine but if i was a receiver or a db like this is not easy yeah. to get back to who you were before uh, as a pocket passer i don't lose any sleep but uh <laughs> it's impressive what guys have done coming back from this injury in the past talking about that you go through the injury and you said, how do guys come back? Was there any moment post-surgery that you looked to yourself in the mirror and you kind of had a question about yourself, not yeah. athletically, but just how the body and the heart and the mind deals and processes yeah. the grief of going through that? Yeah, I think for me it was, um, if anything, it lit a fire a little bit where if there was any inkling of, hey, will this be my last game or am I going to ride off in the sunset? I felt like going through this injury process made me, no, 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 I I'm back. I'm coming back. Oh, I'm playing. Okay. I feel like it makes me want to play longer and push through and have great years after it. So it probably challenged me and kind of, you know, lit a fire more than anything. But, yeah, there's moments where you say, man, how do – how do guys come back from this yeah. so quickly? I mean, Cam Akers running back for the Rams and for the Vikings come back in five months. I know. It's unbelievable. So I think, Young you guys. know, yeah, no doubt, no <sighs> doubt. But, uh, but that's kind of where I'm trying to, trying to get to is to make sure I'm, I'm you know, at, at, at a point where I say I, no different than before the rupture. All right. Have you had any... Like, has has your calf gotten smaller? The yeah, one? so there's a little bit of atrophy. Yeah. Um, calves, I mean, I don't have big calves to begin with, Steve. So, yeah. you know, but yeah, there's a little bit on the medial side. They told me that even if the strength were to be 100% the same, the calf is still a little bit smaller forever. Okay. So, uh, how about you? Uh, hold this. Yeah. My scar is pretty good, pretty big. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. A, yeah. But But not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And, and you, I mean, you came back. You played receiver. You caught touchdowns. You yeah. Know? I had a lot of doubt, though. Uh, it, sure. going well, you had through, a double rupture. I had a double you, rupture. I mean, going, through, going through the surgery, okay, I had some doubt. Then I said, oh, God, oh let's go. And then, I, and then when I was going through rehab, there were days where I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm really built for this. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you were, man. You're Steve Smith. I, You're, don't well, say that, man. <laughs> I, I think too much of you mentally. <laughs> I, that, that, that was the point where I, yeah, I, I was... It tested you. It, it tested me because yeah. I was 30-something years old. Yeah, how old were you? Do you know? 36. Yeah, I was 35. I, yeah. I've never been on that side of 36 injured yeah. with yeah. a double rupture. So yeah. I, I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, I feel like to you, though, it's... It was just one more skin on the wall for you, you know, to be able to say, like, because yeah. it was always kind of, man, this guy's a dog. Yeah. And then you do that, double rupture, come back, play another year. It's like, this guy's really a dog. So, again, I feel like, you know, you set the bar high. and uh, But you also gave me hope. You know, a lot of these guys I looked at who were coming back, I thought, hey, with the careers they had afterwards, uh, no reason to think I can't play my best football. So, uh, you know, the injury lit a fire in me, but also looking at other guys kind of gave me hope that, mm. hey, my best football's ahead of me. How did you handle getting injured? And then your team goes out there and they grab a few quarterbacks. Yeah. And they actually do good. Did you have any yeah. like question like, hey, is there any room for me? Uh, I think everybody goes through that with an injury where life goes on without you. Yeah. And you know that's the case. Like it, the season continues. So I think that part that, you know, it doesn't stop because you're done. Yeah. Um, can be can be just a tough reality, but I think you, you understand, you know, you cheer on your teammates. Yeah. You want to see the team have success, and uh, and you let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. And you always believe there's a place for a for a good quarterback play, and uh, and so that kind of got me through. Now, moving forward, how do you transition? You're an Atlanta Falcon now. Yeah, a lot of change. A lot of change, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, first of all, got to ask, um, 
still in the basement or you, you <laughs> got, got a, a house? nice place now. You got a nice place? Yeah, you can afford a nice place. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We uh, got a nice place, nice neighborhood. Nicest place we've ever lived. So yeah. we're going to be just fine. Yeah. We're going to be just fine and uh, uh, very happy here. It's great, great community, uh, great city. And, um, you know, we got to we gotta put together the kind of year that's going to that's gonna really get this city on fire. And uh, I think this is a special city when it comes to a place where when you can win and really put on, you know, get on a run, this could, we could really, you know, bring this city to life. So well, we're excited. I have to ask. Um, I, I don't have a problem with it, but I have to ask. <laughs> Got a new head coach. You're new. Bang. They draft a quarterback. Sure. Young quarterback. Yeah. What is that quarterback room look like yeah. now that you're leading but also how does yeah. it look just with i want to say mentoring but you're teaching either teaching by yeah. example or oh, he's yeah. just he's just cheating off your paper because you're 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 kirk cousins yeah no it's been good it's uh uh you know as you get older in this league you know people are always gonna be thinking about succession and that kind of a thing yeah. and, but like i said when i got injured you know if you can come back there's always a good place there's always a place for good quarterback play absolutely so i'm pretty confident that you know if i do the job that i was brought here to do um, you know, that I'll have a job in this league. Absolutely. So that's kind of, you know, where my focus is, is on the here and now. Just trying to win football games for the Falcons and um, believing that if we do that, you know, it'll all work itself out. But uh, um, there is a lot of change. You know, a lot of, a lot of new learning, not just a system, but teammates, learning coaches, you know, trying to figure out how the puzzle fits. Mm. And, um, and so it's been a little more time on task to make up for that lost time. And, uh, and um but I, I do like our group and mm. I like our potential, but it's just talk right now. You know, it's just perception and we got to make it reality. Yeah, but I mean, even with that, even with the talk, you know, and you experience some things that you, hey, that won't work, this will work. No doubt. You know, no based doubt. off of your experience. Talk about some of the guys that yeah. you're playing yeah, with. Yeah, I that. think it's, you know, when I met Kyle Pitts, it's, hey, I've played with Vernon Davis, I played with Jordan Reed, I played with TJ Hawkinson, I played with Kyle Rudolph. So I've seen what a Y, what an F can look like you mm. know different ones too of what they can do and i want to learn your skill set and i want to see how you fit and and i want you to have the production they had and you know drake london the same way you know hey i play with all different kinds of receiver types and i want to learn what you do well and how you can fit and um and mooney you know and ray ray mcleod i've yeah. just been really enjoyed getting to know these guys their skill sets and um a lot of them have really impressed me yeah you know I, I i had a an expectation but for the most part i go out there and i go it's probably better than advertised mm. uh you know when i've gone out there and and, and thrown to them yeah I'll take it i like it i like it